The art of Europe, or Western art, encompasses the history of visual art in Europe. European prehistoric art started as mobile, upper Paleolithic, rock and cave paintings, and petroglyph art, and was a characteristic of the period between the Paleolithic and the Iron Age. Written histories of European art often begin with the ancient Middle East and ancient Asian civilizations, dating from the 3rd millennium BC. Parallel with these significant cultures, Art of one form or another spread all over Europe wherever there were people, leaving signs such as carvings, dec decorated artifacts, and huge standing stones. Gothic architecture is a style that flourished in the time of Western art during the High and Late Middle Ages. Here in Cebu, influences of Gothic art are still very much present up to this day. To know more about Gothic architecture, there is one spot here in Cebu City where features of Gothic art are still very much prominent. So let's find out and see! The Roman Catholicism started in the early 16th century led by the Spaniards. The Legospi expedition of 1565 marked the beginning of the Hispanization in the Philippines, and it was here in Cebu, where the Philippine Church and Christianity was introduced, with roughly 98% of its people are Roman Catholic. During the Middle Ages, the Gothic style of architecture was introduced. The Notre Dame Cathedral in France features many strong influence in this genre, including the rose windows, pointed arches, gorgoyles, flying buttresses, and glass-stained windows and some of these are present in one of the beautiful churches here in Cebu City, and that is the St. Joseph the Patriarch Parish. This church is dedicated to St. Joseph and was founded in 1866 as a convent. It has gone through earthquakes and typhoons, and yet it has remained erected for more than 150 years of passion and dedication to the Catholic faith and is now a full-fledged church. You are now looking at the facade of the church. Behind me is a big window which can be seen in all walls of the church. As you can see on the topmost part of the window, there is an arch with a pointed tip. Pointed arches are a feature of the Gothic style architecture. Additionally, if you can notice, there is a rose design in every window. These rose designs are called rose windows, which are also a feature of the Gothic style architecture. According to Reverend Father Brigoli, church architecture and design affects the way man worships, and the way man worships affects the way he believes and the way he believes affects his personal relationship with God and how he conducts himself with his daily life. The history of Asian art or Eastern art includes a wide array of influences from different cultures and religions. Developments of Asian art historically parallel with the Western art a few centuries earlier. Chinese, Indian, Japanese, and Korean art each had a significant influence in the Western art. Fujian wares is a type of Asian art which were exported in the Philippines about 700 to 900 years ago, and these serve as a witness to the Philippines' active participation in the maritime trading in the South China Sea. Did you know that you can find these Fujian wares in the hearts of the sea? Let's check them out. Fujian ware are ceramics from the Song Yu Wan period that existed from the 11th to 14th century and were exported to the Philippine Islands 700 to 900 years ago. 
In the Philippines, the variety of Fujian ware available varies from black ware, green glazed ware, white ware, and king bai ware from northern, central, eastern, and southern Fujian. Fujian, or alternately romanized as Fukien, is a province of the southeast coast of mainland China. It was a major ancient trade ceramics production center in the country. During the pre-Song period, it produced mainly green glazed or celadon wares of the famous Zhejiang Yu Celadon tradition. Most of the kiln sites were located in northern Fujian. In fact, archaeological evidence shows that the earliest proto portaling was produced during the Shangzhou period. During the Southern Song period, Minan emerged as a major exporter of trade ceramics. This development was the result of the Southern Song court's strategy to promote Fujian Kangzhou as the main gateway for foreign trade in Southeast and West Asia. Kangzhou retained its prominent status of international port till Yuan period. During this period, the bulk of the trade ceramics consisted of green wares, white kingbai, and black wares. Besides the famous Longquan Celadon and the Jingdesen Kengbai, many were products of coastal kings in Fujian. It owed its good fortune to the abundance of local raw materials required for ceramics production and its proximity to Guangzhou. As a result of the competitive advantage, Fujian emerged as a major producer of Chinese ceramics. In reality, they were poorer quality copies of Longquan Celadon and Jingdesen Kengbai wares. However, they were able to compete successfully with its cheap price strategy and dominated the lower and overseas consumer market. Fujian province is mostly known for its ivory-colored Denghua black machine porcelain. As being closer to the coast than Jingdezhen and Changxi province, they had the logistic and technological possibility to compete with the inland porcelain center Jingdezhen. In Fujian export ware from the 18th to the 19th century, quite a large number of the porcelain is decorated in underglazed blue. The porcelain paste is not really the same when compared to the Jingdezhen one, and cobalt decoration does not really fit well under the glaze. So there is a tendency for the glaze to look a bit wrinkly, lacking better words. Cebu has a long history of guitar making due to its traditional industry. Most of the guitar makers here in Cebu are family-owned enterprises passed from one generation to another. The center of guitar making here in Cebu is found in Lapu-Lapu City. Let's get to know one of the makers of the best guitars here in Cebu. Ferranjali Guitar Handcrafters and I'm with Sir Steve Dago. So good morning good sir. Morning. It's a pleasure to meet you. So can you tell me about yourself from what school did you graduate and what course? Mm. Um, I graduated at the University of San Jose Recoletos, uh, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, major in mobile applications development. So, can you tell me about your craft, your work, like mm, indoors? The, the, main, the main purpose of our craft is to make really good sounding guitars, uh, uh, Filipino made and solid wood. Because uh, they're not, uh, there's not much guitars in the market na makaingon ka na what, na nindut kichutingon especially when it comes to Filipino made guitars. Mm -hmm. Oh, tagal mo ingon na nindot og tingog ang kanina kahoy, nindot og tingog ang kanina kahoy, nindot og tingog ang gitara sa dali na lugar, dali na lugar and etc. But uh, the question is sa kahoy ba gitna o sa lugar ba gitna? Mm -hmm. So, how long have you been making guitars? If mo kuan po Depende o kinsang tawahan sa ito. Pero ang akong great-grandfather, nagsugod by record, namang ibawan, 1919. 
advice for aspiring um, artisans like you or your father? Uh, I don't know what to do. In general, I don't Success is not right around the corner waiting for you. You have to walk to go to go there. So, you just want to go there. You just want to go there. Na successful na ka. Uh, you have to break down your big goal. Okay? Kasi ganda ko rin mga ulo. You have to break it down into small little steps. And then um, small little achievable goals. Oh, so, if this is kamo research, if this is kamo develop, si mga gali, what's it? So that's it guys. Thank you sir. Thank you for your time. The line is creation. Such is the case for Pawn Studios creative director Jonas Martin Pacifico, a Singapore trained architect who guides graphite and ink across sheets not only to design buildings, but also furnitures, fixtures, and sculptures. His desk is a repository for all kinds of endeavors, some needing meters of structural foundation, and others just centimeters of wood to be mounted on. An array of outcomes, architecture and arts, is proof that the need to create is impartial to the discipline. everyone today we're here with Mr. Jonas Pacifico and we're going to talk about his art and about himself as well good morning sir good Thank morning you for your time um, first of all we'd like to ask about your background so okay. what is your academic background where did you study okay I'm also from San Carlos um, I'm um, an architect in background but doing um, a restaurant business and also into construction. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so can you tell us about your art? Okay. Mm. Okay, so I call it a metal sculpture. Metal sketches is an offshoot of my architecture practice. Um, I'm using metal, which is obviously um, a construction material. And I think nobody have ever explored doing something creative um, from it. Now it's a, it's a very industrial, um, material. So I use mesh, steel me mosquito mesh, um, round bars, um, welded round bars, and then um, a plain plywood. That's all. Okay, so what is your intention in doing your art? Do you have um, a specific message that you want to tell people? or? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, first off, um, I'm not a commercial artist, so I'm not doing arts for for money or for fame or for recognition and then this is something that I want to inspire people also that um, art is really um, it's an expression some people do art by um, now express art through your fashion hairstyle tattoo and so but my my platform is doing this um, metal sketches um, 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 we want I want to create art um, for the pure joy of creating something and for sharing it for everyone's pleasure, not really for money and recognition. So that's it. Um, do you have um, a message to like aspiring artists? Art has no rules. No, um, we're on the modern era now. You don't have to be a watercolor artist only. You don't have to be an oil painter only. Thank you so much yeah. for your time. Thank, Thank you. you so much.
Pablo Picasso said, The purpose of art is washing the dust of daily life off our souls. Art is something that truly nurtures the human spirit. It takes a lot of hard work and talent to create art. It brings together people from all different backgrounds under one common factor. Unfortunately, for many artists, the starving artist stereotype is still evident in society. As a community, it is important to support local artists because without local citizen support, the art they make would cease to make the impact it could make. Once artists are able to express themselves creatively and freely, beautiful art is made that can be admired by the community and the world.